Your first pay-per-view back with the company is Vengeance, and it features the Miz and R-Truth defeating the tag team of Triple H and CM Punk with Kevin Nash's help. Randy Orton defeated Cody Rhodes. Big Show and Mark Henry ended in a no contest when a superplex destroyed the ring, and Albert Del Rio won the WWE title in a last-man-standing match over John Cena. What memories do you have of that show from San Antonio? So I look. I don't. You're I like remember San Antonio. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> I thought, I was in, <laughs> thought I was in Detroit. Uh, no, I remember it was Texas, <laughs> and then we did the TVs all along the coast. Um, but so I didn't. I didn't do much on that pay per view, to be quite honest with you. I mm-hmm. kind of just came in and Observed. sat around. I, I trailed Michael Hayes a lot, talked to him because I know Michael, and so I thought oh, I'll stick with him. He's he knows what he's doing. He's from here. Uh, Excuse me. Um, so, so I didn't do too much. I do remember the ring collapsing because I remember rehearsing what? that and how I thought it was so cool. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I. So let's let's break that down because rehearsal, like in my mind, I feel like that's a one and done, and maybe you get one shot to rehearse it, and then it's the shot live. Do you get to do it a few times? So you 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 we like to do things once that, that are, that yeah, are stunt okay. oriented or or gimmick oriented. Um, so, yeah, we did it. We had one try. We did it. Everybody was happy with how we did it. That's how we're going to do it tonight. You know what I mean? And so, so yeah, that look. But if it, if it hadn't have been good or hadn't have... Had, had we, you ever seen have, something like that before? Never, never in my life. Like, and it immediately opened up my mind to, holy mackerel, what can we do to have somebody lift the ring up? And do, you know what I mean? Like a, like a Royal Rumble where, where uh, three people are left and here comes... Adam Shear, yeah, who bronze. you know, bronze, and he Big comes down and lifts the ring door. The they Titan. fall backwards over the top rope, and he just drops it and gets in and goes, yeah. Um, but look, I just started immediately going like, oh, what can we do here now that we can do this with these hydraulics and all this stuff? Wow. Uh, boy, they got some great toys here. Uh, who said? <laughs> who finally sat down with you after six weeks to bring you in full time? So that becomes Johnny. Yeah, it was Hunter. Just called me and said, look, yeah. you want to do this? You got and, the gig. So, that, that was that was right. Wrong. I say that a lot too. Right or wrong, uh, Hunter contacted me for a lot of stuff because we because of our relationship, and he would just say, "Look, when you get here on TV, they're going to ask you to sign some crap." And then Mark, uh, what was Mark? Carano. Carano. Um, <laughs> would, sorry, would would uh, you know have crossed the T's Has and dot to do the contracts and, stuff. and the yeah, information. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A celebratory meal. Do you remember being excited that you had a full time gig back with them? No, no. I mean. I kind of felt like I did anyway because I felt like from the get go it was a really good fit and I was I felt like I had something to offer them. Um, not that any other agent didn't, um, but they were older producers who were like the Arn Anderson, like I talked about. Arn, uh, while he is so great in the ring and, and he was literally one of my favorite wrestlers growing up, and and his promos are to die for. Like he's one of the best promo guys uh, ever. And so, but he had, like I told you, he came up a generation before me. So while I'm talking about this TV stuff, he's not with me. You know what I mean? And there were some of those. And so I felt like it, 